One way where we can use this information is to be able to use the cells command. The cells command, what it does is it allows you to come down a certain row and a certain column and from the very upper left corner of the spreadsheet and you can you know, either write a value in or take a value out. So I've created a simple subroutine called show cells here and we're going to use the immediate windows to see what the, this value produces. Well it should come down three rows, come over two columns and then so Joe should be placed in the immediate window. So when we run this then then Joe is placed in the immediate window because that is down uh, three and over two. Well, as, as you can see in here, this is an example where I use this, the value of the row uh, in our for loops to be able to move stuff around and to be able to go down and, and get the value. So let me run this and then we'll sort of talk through how it works. In this case, what we're doing is we have a for loop and I still have these very same values for variables declared up here and we set our O row to 2 and we say for for the first name row 3 to 6 then we're gonna take the first name row and take the value of 1 and write it into the immediate window and then inside of that we'll also take the middle name row from 3 to 5 and then what that does is that will take the first name again and then it will put the second name. So here's the first name, uh, the location for the first name that we want. Here's the location for the middle name that we want. And I have VBA appending these two values together. And then over here, although it's never shown to the screen, what we're doing, uh, we have O row that, would, could, that could be used to keep track of this, although we're not going to be using that yet. So that allows us to see the out, outside loop so we have Bobby over here and then it goes Bobby and then we put Bobby Joe and then Bobby Boo and then Bobby Sue and then we move over to Jamie and then it's Jamie Joe and so forth. So that's an example where in the cells command as the for loop value, this controller of the for loop value, as these values change then we're able to use the location of those values or use those integer values to manipulate the location of where we want to go pull the values out of those cells. And so you can see how that's done here. Now I've created a slight variation of this script which will actually write down into the column the combinations of the first and middle names which was sort of where we started in terms of what we wanted to accomplish. If we run this now then it does all of these combinations of names. So what did we add to be able to make it do that? We created variables where we could have the first, middle, and the combinations of the first and middle names. Inside the outside loop, we took the value of this first name and put it into a variable. Then we jump inside the, the second or the inner loop and then we grab the value out of this area as the middle name and we load that into a middle name. We create a combined name where we take the first and middle name and append them together with the space in between. And then when that's done, we go over to O row and we write the value of that combined name into the right location. And we use this structure of O row equals O row plus one to be able to move down as we move from each combination until we're done. 